Welcome back to the third installment of the Equimates review of the Moomoo Moo platform, a new broker here in Australia. Australia's first AI powered brokerage platform. Uh, if you've missed the, the previous two episodes, uh, the first one we jumped on, had a look at what was on the platform, set ourselves the task of then investing through the platform, taking advantage of some of the strategies that the, uh, the platform provides. And uh, today we're gonna see who came out on top and uh, I guess give our final thoughts on on Moo Moo and uh, it as a broker. Yeah, now last video, if you were watching, uh, Bryce and I each uh, invested. Yeah. And then we were gonna give it a week. Yeah. And we were gonna see who invested better. He's just admitted to me before we started recording that he's been using their AI powered engine to help him trade and he's been cheating. <laughs> that is, that's not cheating. There so was no there's rule, there was, that. There was no, no rules around not investing in between. Now, I just wanted to see, because uh, a lot of the features I couldn't use unless I had um, unless I had positions. And so I wanted to see what the fuss was about. Okay. Um, so Well, why don't we start there? What's the fuss all about? How's the week been for you? The week has been... It's been good. It it's certainly reminded me that I'm a long term investor. I'm not a I'm not a day trader, and I think you know Moo Moo seems to be very much built for technical analysis and trading. So I decided that I would follow some of their um, technical indicator strategies. There's a there's a part of the app um, that you can explore. You go down advanced strategies, and it sort of takes concepts of technical analysis and then. Uh, gives you lists of stocks that are like meeting that strategy. Okay. So, for example, there's a, a technical uh, strategy called the KDG Golden Crossing. Yep. Uh, it aims to find stocks which shape the KDG Golden Crossing. <laughs> there's the Breakthrough, which is stocks, I think, hitting past their RS, RSI breakthrough point. Okay. And then there's the MA Golden Crossing. This is one of many, may I add, and the MA Golden Crossing is um, your traditional moving average, finding stocks that are breaking out and above moving average. What they then do is they suggest a list of stocks that are, are meeting this and you can make the investment decisions. Um, what, where I, so I, I, I chose three of them and, and I think I had $373 because uh, I also bought Macquarie at the yes. end of last yeah. episode. And this is kind of where I came unstuck. So firstly, created the watch list, con Convert all of the stocks that are uh, suggested are, are US as well. So I had to make the conversion from AUD into USD and then um, went through and found which stocks Moomoo Moo was recommending. Mm -hmm. The issue is that you can't buy fractional shares. And so with such a small amount of money, a lot of the stocks that they recommended were uh, more than I actually had available to invest across different strategies. Do they offer, like, do they have a minimum? So if there's like a ten dollar stock, can you buy one? Yes. Okay. Yes. For but but for if, US. if it's like Amazon share price is a thousand dollars. Well, then. what I wanted to exactly. So what I wanted to do was take it and then put like fifty bucks on three stocks in the same strategy, but I couldn't do that because one of them, for example, Win Resorts was fifty eight dollars. The other one was seventy three. So I kind of had to commit to one stock. Okay. So I did come unstuck there a little. Um, Are we getting a drum roll? What's the stock? Well, so what I bought was I got three. I got three different um, stocks. Let me just get it up here. Um, so I bought Las Vegas Sands, which was oh, part yeah. of the KD Interest Golden Crossing. Interesting that the KD Golden Crossing seemed to have a lot of gambling stocks. Win yeah, Resorts time, yeah. and Golden Sands. Yeah, I did get on Win Resorts as well. And I'm actually super stoked that I got in. I think this is uncorrelated, but I got in and then the day after it, um, it came out that some, uh, it surged after billionaire Tillman Fertitta acquired a stake in the hotel and casino company. Um, I'm not sure who he is, he's a billionaire, but it was just fortuitous that the day after I bought that, um, so some you, billionaire got in. Are you suggesting that maybe Moomoo's AI unearthed front a bit running. of uh, front running, a bit of a <laughs> bit of inside information, bit insider trading? There you maybe? go. Yeah, you could say that. There you go. There you go. Um, and then I got in. All on, alleged. All Oof. alleged. <laughs> All All absolutely <laughs> taking the piss. We, have, we don't even know who the billionaire is. <laughs> so I got two Las Vegas Sands, one Wynn Resorts, and then two ING Group. 
grow up is what it says in the app, but um, ING group grow up. Well, so grow, ING grow up, G R O E P. <laughs> is that the ticker? No, that's the name of the company, ING grow up, G R O E P. Do you um, think that's just a typo? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I would think it's ING group. It's good that you know what you're investing in. It's a technical analysis. <laughs> <laughs> technical analysis. Oh, you know what? No. Uh, according to Wikipedia, ING group brackets, ING grow up. There you go. I think maybe that's how you spell it in the Netherlands because it's a Dutch company. Well, there you go. So, we take it back. Sorry, Moomoo, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, those were my three that were based on the technical indicator. What? Uh, so, that was good. Took, uh, took some uh, inspiration, got in. Then I just sort of left it. The, the downfall with this for me is that I'm not a day trader and these strategies are updated daily. Do they tell you when you should, when the, like the signal breaks, like when you should sell? It does drop out when it breaks. Okay. Um, but I'm not checking this daily. What would be cool is if you could automate the investment. So it's like, Moo Moo, I like your uh, like relative strength indicator tracking system, yeah. I want to allocate $1,000 for your AI to just invest to just it, do it on my behalf. Yeah. Because then you wouldn't need to check it. Yes. That's my big challenge is checking it yeah. and then selling in and out. Uh, brokerage is another thing to consider and we'll get to that. But um, so overall, uh, my position, I'm up 5.3% across my portfolio, um, but I'm actually f struggling to find... Um, and of all of them, I'm actually up on only the stocks that were given to me by the AI provider. I'm down on Macquarie. Okay. <laughs> well, that uh, says a lot about both your investing and the AI. Yeah. So, Las Vegas Sands, I'm up 1.3%. Wind Resources, I'm up 5 And ING Grow Up, uh, up 0.3%. Right. So, overall, you're up. Overall, I'm up 5.4%. Okay. So, you have beaten me. Overall, I'm up 0.82%. Nice. At least yeah. you're up. Well, it's my position p &L. I also have a bunch of cat. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, I didn't do any extra trading. Uh, at the end of last video, I bought one share of Commonwealth Bank, one share of BHP. The logic being Bryce was trying to buy some specky, Mesoblast or something. Um, yeah, Weebit Nano. Weebit Nano. Couldn't do it because you need minimum 500 for a non-domicile Australian yeah, stock or whatever it was. Like it was. Yeah, smaller ones, yeah. yeah. Um, I am up... Uh, Overall, 2.2% uh, on Commonwealth Bank and, and down 3.4% on BHP. Um, only bought one share of each. So, good news. Commonwealth Bank is $104 a share, BHP $38 a share. So, as a percentage, it's yeah. bigger in my portfolio. One cool thing. So, looking at uh, Moomoo on the computer screen here, you can see my portfolio and the two uh, two stocks and a bunch of information about my position, you know, my cost base, how much has changed since I bought it, how much it's moved today. But then what you can also do is you can click on the stock and on the right hand side here, you get a whole bunch more information. Um, you get, you know, a bunch of fundamental information, market cap, price to earnings, earnings per share, um, shares outstanding. Um, and down here, there's a bit of a chart as well. And if you want to track volume of, um, you know, like how many people are buying and at what price, how many people are selling at what price, um, there's a bit of stuff around bid ask down here. So, um, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Heaps nice. of information. Well, uh, so we're both up, which was great after the week. Now, I know, Ren, you want to just test the functionality of selling and withdrawing cash. So, mm -hmm. we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but I do want to touch, uh, as we've said, this this is built, it feels like it's built for, for trading, like day trading, short-term trading. A lot of the indicators that you just went through, Ren, volume, bid ask, um, all built for, for understanding short-term price movement. Yeah. And with that comes trading frequency. And for me, uh, one of the, the challenges for this platform, given what is available in market at the moment, is the cost of brokerage. Uh, for both Australian and US shares. Now, I mean, they, AI isn't cheap. AI isn't cheap. Yeah. True, true. And I, and this isn't a. It's too expensive. You know, every, everyone's different, and all platforms are different. But if if I'm thinking about what it, 
means for me as an investor, there are cheaper options. Um, Australian shares, they have a, a bit of a promo. Brokerage for 180 days is $0, but I think once you pass that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and that ends 31st of December this year. Um, they, it's $8.80 Australian for yeah, Australian yeah. shares and it's uh, $1.99 for US shares and ETFs. So comparatively, that is more expensive than competitors. Mm. Um, and they do have a current, uh, a couple of other offers as well that end the end of this year for, uh, you can earn $10 for every hundred that you deposit up to $50 and a few things like that. So there are some options, but um, I you guess got to keep that in mind if you are looking to trade frequently. 880 per trade or $1.99 USD um, sh should definitely be considered. Yeah, I mean, there's a few thoughts there. First of all, what we did buying one share of Macquarie, one yeah. share of Commonwealth Bank, and that being like 10, the brokerage being about 10% of our investment is not the way you would use this platform. No. You would invest in bigger parcel sizes. I think every broker offers different things and some value cost yeah. and giving you low cost access others value giving you information others value making it a you know a different experience and then you know some will value like a community and like you can see what other people are doing and they all have different prices because they all have different cost structures behind them and you know we joked ai isn't cheap um and i imagine that's part of it there's a heap of information here they do offer more markets than some other brokers. Um, but you're right. If you're just trying to buy and hold ETFs for 40 years and you're dollar cost averaging every time you get a paycheck, paying 880 might not make sense. Yeah. But if you're, if you're going to beat the market as a day trader, then this might make more sense than others. I would say in Moomoo's defense, they would point to your last week's performance and say you invested in three stocks. The one you chose yourself is down. The one they suggest, all the, all the ones they suggested are up. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm, I think for the, that purpose, it, it worked, obviously. Mm. <laughs> but for my investing strategy, I don't know how much value I'd get from then suggesting fortnightly dollar cost averaging yeah. into an ASX 200 ATR. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Ren, do you want to give it uh, give it a crack and sell your stocks and see um, how easy it is to get your cash out? Yeah, let's find out. So, if I want to if I want to sell a share of BHP, if we look here, click trade, and you if it's your first time, you'll have to unlock it and put your password in. But I have unlocked it, so now I can just go market BHP. Whatever the market price is, if I want to go limit, I can actually say what price I want to sell it at. You know, I only want to sell it if it gets to $39 a share. Moomoo tells me that that's higher than the current price. If I want to go $399 a share, well, I might be waiting a while given that's 950% higher than the current price. But I'm not super worried about what price I sell it at. The good thing is here, you can also do stop losses or, and um, trailing stops. So you could say, yeah, you can, you can put rules in place, which is nice. But uh, let's go market, let's sell, let's see what happens. I'm using a market order, that's all good. Don't remind me again. Let's go. Sell, one, done, confirm. Let's see how quickly it fills it. Well, while I'm doing that, let's also sell CBA. Um, let's just do market again. Bryce has done limit over there. Sell, confirm. So you can see down here, both of my orders and both have been filled. Nice. So if we now go back to my account, I have got $515 in cash, only $390 in buying power. So there might be a settlement period. Yep. Do you know there is? Yeah. Um, but let's try and withdraw, hey? Go for it. Sure. <laughs> Anything you want to talk about? Oh, do you want me to keep going? No, I can do it. So I've clicked withdraw. Box is loading. It's still loading. Tick tock. All right. Well, while Ren does that, I think I'll close out with my positives for Moomoo and, um, and then close out with some of my um, watch outs, which we've already touched on. But I think overall, it's an incredibly information dense and rich platform, over 2,500 courses, news from around the world, 
uh, news related to stocks in your watch list so you can keep on track of it. Uh, over, uh, I think over a hundred charts and technical indicators that you can leverage if you're interested in that sort of stuff. Community aspect as well, uh, over 19 million users globally. So it's a massive platform. Um, one that I feel as a beginner investor, it might take a little bit to get your head around. It's, it's quite, it's quite uh, intense, but for those that are looking to get more than just a dollar cost averaging app, uh, this is definitely one that um, might tick the box. On the, on the flip side, the cost of trading um, is probably my biggest sort of uh, con given the, you know, the type of investing that I do. But for those that want a bit more detail, let's take a look at pricing. So in terms of pricing, whilst Moomoo aren't the cheapest broker on the market, they are competitive and uh, have decent value for money. $8.80 per uh, transaction or per order for Australian shares and ETFs, $1.99 US for US shares and ETFs, $0 brokerage for 180 days is the intro offer. They are uh, competitive against some of the larger uh, full service brokers, um, but you will find that they are a little bit more expensive than some of the online brokers. However, you do have a, a much larger range of products available. There is a fee calculator on their website where you can plug in the price of your stocks and how many you want to buy, and it'll show, show you what the total fees are and the breakdown between brokerage and platform fees. So pretty interesting feature. Uh, yeah, so in terms of, I guess, pricing overall, competitive, not the cheapest, but does offer good value for money. Anything for you, Ren? Yeah, well, I've got good news and bad news for you. Good yeah. news is the settlement is pretty quick. While you were talking there, the cash settled in my account. So now I've got, I still doesn't have it in buying power, but now it's all available. Um, the bad news is the withdraw screen is still loading. <laughs> All right, well, while that ticks away, do you have any final closing comments, pros or cons, uh, watch outs for, well, for Moo Moo? I've just, um, I've just closed the screen and I'm going to reopen it. So let's see if it's quicker the second time. I, I think it's just, again, uh, an acknowledgement that the options for retail investors are getting bigger and bigger. Like yep. there's more and more out there. Um, and it really depends what you want. Um, Whatever, how, whatever, however you want to invest, there, there are plenty of ways to make money in the stock market. Uh, there are plenty of strategies that, if executed well, can make money. So there's no one size fits all style of investing. There's no one size fits all investing philosophy. And because of that, there's no one size fits all broker. And so if you want a data rich trading environment, this is probably the best one I've come across. Mm. Um, so I think, you know, for having a clear idea of who their target market is, who their ideal customer is and building a platform for them, I think that's impressive. I think for me, it's probably not one that I, it suits my style of investing. I feel I'd get pretty overwhelmed by this platform. Um, but hey, I'm not the best investor out there, so... That's why they've got that. their AI. Uh, that's why they've got their AI, AI to help help people. Yeah. Um, how would we how would we go with the withdrawal? So good news is on the second time it's come up, uh, I got to add my bank account. So let's do that. For a platform that moves very quickly, the withdrawal screen moves very slowly. Okay. So you can see here, request submitted. Go on to Commonwealth Bank. One to three business days. They've got to verify my bank account. I see that only happen once. And then we're done. Hit done. Nice, Ren. Well, you got your cash out. We've trialed the Moomoo platform. Uh, just a reminder, they say they are the first, Australia's first AI-powered trading platform. So if you want to check it out, head to moomoo.com slash au. Uh, but look, I'm glad we got the opportunity to test it out. Um, plenty, plenty of great functionality. Um, that's a wrap. Yeah. Check it out for yourself if you want to.